Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this stunning jewel toned eye look inspired by this beautiful model. I would tag her, but honestly I could not find the name of the artist or the model. But to get started, I'm using this dark emerald green eyeliner. Not on my waterline, but right under it where my lashes are. And I'm doing it kind of thick because it's going to work as our base to start adding the green eyeshadow. I actually layered on some eyeshadows. I started by packing on Sagittarius from the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. And I took that all the way onto half of my lower lash line. And then I added the green eyeshadow light year from the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette as well. Love you. And then on the other half, I applied my Milani Cosmetics waterproof eyeliner. And then with the same Zodiac palette, I'm using this dark gray color. It's the matte Libra color. And you just want to pack it on top of the black because we're going to go in with Scorpio and Sagittarius, the matte eyeshadows. And we're going to smoke that out and blend it out so the line's not harsh from the black eyeliner. And I know you're wondering, why are you starting at the bottom? This is because I want my shape to be a little bit, you know, angled outwards but I don't want to take it too high and sometimes when I do smoky eyes if I start on the top it's easy for me to smoke the shadow too high too close to my eyebrows so doing it this way it just helps me make my shape easier And I'm taking that same Sagittarius and Scorpio matte eyeshadows on the outer half of my eye. And then on the inner half, I'm going to start blending the Aquarius matte eyeshadows. It's a very light transition color that works perfectly to blend this out. Then with the clean brush, I'm just taking the blending brush and blending it out because we want to smoke it. We don't want harsh lines here. So I'm blending the light Aquarius color into the Sagittarius and Scorpio. Now to deepen up the outer corner, I'm going to add more of that Libra color, which is that really dark gray in the palette. And I'm going to add it how I normally do. I'm going to angle it towards my inner corner. But we really just want to keep this color on the outer two thirds. And then with the blending brush, you're going to take a little bit more of Scorpio and a little bit of Pisces. And you want to start blending out that dark gray color and smoke out the edge. Continue to blend. Don't get scared if it gets a little messy on your outer corner. Remember, you can always clean it up. 
for the fun part and I'm taking my NYX glitter primer before I add any shimmer. I'm going to do my crease with the primer over my natural crease. Start packing on the color Aries, the shimmer eyeshadow from the same palette and just lightly packing it on. We're going to layer different shimmer shades so this is the first one we're doing for this jewel tone. In the center of that, you want to add, I had to dip into another palette to make it a little bit brighter. From the Aurora Lights BH Cosmetics palette, it's the shade Polar. It's more of a brighter baby blue, just to make that color stand out. And then to blend the shimmers with the dark matte colors, I'm going to dip into the Urban Decay Moon Dust. And I'm going to use some granite. Granite? How do you say that? Granite? And this is like a smoky grayish, but it's more on the shimmery side, so it blends in perfectly with that smoked out outer corner. That way there's no harsh line from the blue to the gray. Do the same thing with the other eye, and again, blend out any harsh edges. To add even more of a pop of jewel tone, I'm gonna go in with the Melt Cosmetics Santos Reflect Gel Liner. This liner in the pot is super metallic and super royal blue. However, on first application, I don't think it's super opaque. So I just put on one layer, let that dry for a few seconds while I work on the other eye. And then I repeat the process to get that more opaque look. Be very careful to keep it thin on the inner corner and then gradually make it thicker. And again on that second layer, you want to make sure to make it thicker on the outer portion of the liner. You want to make sure you do it at an angle upwards into your crease. So it's thin, gradually increasing in thickness, going into your crease so that then we can go in with our black gel liner. This is also by Melt Cosmetics, this Immortal Ultra Matte Gel Liner. And I'm just taking that and placing it on the rest of the eye. We're not doing a wing because we're taking that same gray eyeshadow Libra from the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. You just want to tap it on to the gel liner placement and then slightly press out the edge so that we can add more dimension and depth into the outer corner. And then in just a minute, we'll blend it out more. So again, just take that dark gray and start pressing it and it starts blending out really easily. And then with the tiny blending brush, you want to get a little bit more of that dark eyeshadow. It's like a chocolate brown. Tap into that, which is Pisces, and Aries, which is the black, and blend out the outer corner. And then with the just a little bit more of Aquarius, clean up the edges. Switch to a clean brush and then clean up the edges after that. Again, we don't want to take the eyeshadow too high to our brow. We just want to blend it out and smoke it out. Don't know what my camera lighting is doing here, but now that it's adjusting, you can see I like to blend it all the way out. go ahead and add some mascara just any mascara if you want to know the one I used or any of the products I use go check the tag below because I linked them on my Instagram post and so you can follow me on there too this is just a step to prep your eyes for false lashes because we don't want your natural lashes to stand out or look too ashy amongst the black falsies For 
For inner corner highlight, I used Gemini, which is a shimmery, silvery color. The Zodiac palette kind of started on the actual green and blue inner corner and then blended upward. Once you have your lashes on, let's get into the face products. I'm using a blurring primer by Maybelline. If you want to know which one I used, definitely go check the link below for my Instagram post. I put way too much, so don't worry. We can just tap it out with a sponge. For foundation, it's also by Maybelline. Don't know if you noticed, but the inspiration picture was very matte. Didn't have much shimmer besides the eyes. That was the main focal point. So I wanted to keep my face more matte. Don't forget that even though we apply products with our brushes, we always go in and press them in. It helps if you have texture, if you want your foundation to not look as cakey, if you have peach fuzz like me, all of the above. It just helps to press it in and blend it more flawlessly. For bronzer, today I'm going to use, it's one by Revolution Pro. Again, I'll list it on my Instagram post. Technically, it's a, a stick foundation, but it works pretty good to warm up the face. It's pretty creamy. This shade is nice because it's not too warm or too cool, it's right in between to give that nice bronzy look. I'm using one of my favorite concealers to brighten up under my eyes and the rest of my face. Applying just a little bit on a metal palette and then with the brush I'm adding it to the areas where I need it so I can blend it out with my beauty sponge. And that way I just use whatever's on the don't foot applicator, just one swipe of the product. I don't need to go dip back in the concealer tube, it just, that's enough. Literally it's amazing how nice this concealer is. Even though I do smoky eyes, I don't like them to look so droopy, so I still kind of make sure the eyeshadow at the bottom is kind of still in line and angled upwards. Don't forget you feel like your bronzer contour too muddy, just um, clean it up with a sponge or extra product. And to set the face, I'm using the Maybelline Loose Powder, just the lightest amount all over.
For bronzer, I'm going to go back in. I'm trying to master this one because it has a lot of pigment. So what I did for this bronzer, I put some on the brush, I patted it on my hand, and then I went in and blended it on my face. So anytime I went into the palette, I pat it on my hand first, then I go into my face. For contour, I'm using an Anastasia palette and I'm also going to use the two lightest shades in that palette to highlight a little bit more under my eyes because we all know those eye bags of being tired are not going to go away by themselves. For blush, I actually haven't tried this one. I've only used a highlighter in the palette and I gotta tell you I'm pleasantly surprised at how nice this blush looks. It's almost like the perfect summer color because it's peachy. Just a tiny bit of pink but it's glowy, it's not matte. So it gives you that nice summer glow. And for highlight, I'm using the one that comes in the palette as well. It's actually quite a handy palette. Again, the look that inspired me was more matte, so instead of adding highlight on my forehead and chin like I normally do, I just decided to stop there on the center of my face, which was really hard for me to do because once I start adding highlighter, it's hard for me to stop. And here I'm just cleaning up my cheeks and nose to make sure that I don't look so muddy or... And then with the Anastasia Powder Contour Palette, I'm taking the lightest two colors here and just lightly blending it out. Nothing major. Of course, don't forget to do your crazy funny faces whenever you're concentrating and perfecting your makeup. <laughs> it's so funny watching myself while I'm editing because I don't even realize the faces I make until I'm editing the video. For my lip combination, I'm keeping it super nude just like the inspiration picture. I don't always follow every single step in the inspo picture, but this one I just love the whole look overall, so I was super inspired to recreate my version of it. And uh, let me tell you, I wish I could wear this look on my face every day because the way the jewel tone colors make your eyes look and just brings more light and color to your eyes, to your face, I love it so much. If you feel like you went in with your lipstick and it's too light, you can still go back over with your lip liner and blend that in to keep your lips defined. Don't forget to set your face and press, press, press. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell for notifications on when I post. This is the finished look. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.